Hello and welcome to day two of Vlogmas here at Millennial Meg. Today we are going along to pick out a Christmas tree at the Christmas tree farm. Uh, this is a tradition that my family has participated in for, gosh, I don't know, even before I joined the family. Uh, this is something that Ed and Amari did before I came along and we have continued. Um, here are some donuts, a dozen donuts. I thought I was going to do a really clever shot where I would come back and the donut box would be empty, but I forgot because I don't know, I was distracted. <laughs> so instead, please enjoy uh, Amelia eating a donut. Mostly she was just interested in the frosting. Um, and because I am a spectacular mother, I let her eat it. I just let her eat as much sugar as her little heart desires. Uh, you can see though that between all of us who were there, we did make some progress with the donuts. But yeah, every year we go to a Christmas tree farm here in Northern Illinois. We've been to a few different ones, but this has become a favorite um, for, for reasons like this, like the, the train that goes around, um, this nice little shop area that's really warm and cozy. They give you free hot chocolate. It is delightful. Uh, the other part that we enjoy is, oh, and Amelia really likes the train. <laughs> but the other part that we enjoy is actually going out and getting on this wagon that's pulled by a tractor and going out to pick our Christmas tree. However, this year, it was so cold. It was so ridiculously, painfully cold, uh, which is why we're spending so much time indoors here. <laughs> so... What we decided to do this year was get on the little tractor. Here we are, all bundled up. That's Ed's oldest daughter, Deanna, and then Amelia and Ed. And then to my other side is my dad. There's his hand. I don't think you can really see him. Uh, and then Amari and Deanna's husband were behind us on this little tractor ride. So yeah, this year we decided... <laughs> here we are. There's my dad. Um, we decided to just go on the tractor ride take a little tour of the farm, but we were not going to get off and chop down our own tree because my fear was that if we got off the tractor, we would be abandoned and we would have to get our fingers amputated later for a frostbite. So it was, it was so cold. It was so cold. Um, so instead, like I said, we just looked at all the trees and enjoyed the scenery and enjoyed the absolutely frozen wind against our cheeks. Um, and then once the tractor ride was over, we got off and went into a Christmas tree barn that they had on site, which somehow was even colder than the outdoor farm experience. I don't know how that works, but it was very cold. Oh, here we are kicking our little feet. Amelia was not amused. Um, I tried to recreate a, a spontaneous moment and it, it did not work. Uh, so here's the Christmas tree barn, super beautiful, but literally it was like walking into a freezer. Um, so that was intense. And we ended up picking a pre-cut tree and bringing it home um, because I have abandonment issues is really the bottom line. <laughs> My dad was really disappointed. I felt bad because this is like the one tradition that he really enjoys because he, he comes out every Thanksgiving to visit um, from California. So I really commend him for braving the cold because where he's from, like he's been born and raised in Southern California. So where he is from, it, I don't believe it has ever gotten below like 45 degrees ever in the history of him living there. So it being so cold, um, is not natural for him. <laughs> So I appreciate that he stuck it out and he really wanted us to cut a tree down, but I just, I just couldn't, I couldn't risk getting stuck out there and having all the tractors pass us by cause they might be full or whatever. So we did not cut our own tree. Um, afterwards, since we did survive the tree farm and no, no frostbite occurred, um, I was able to make like a nice little brunch, a late brunch for us. So that is some leftover ham from Thanksgiving. And yeah, I'm going to put that in the oven. I'm going to make some French toast or as we call it in our house, Frenchy toasty. Um, funny story, De Deanna's husband, Christian, is from Colombia and 
so English is his second language. He's um, like, he's amazing at English. Um, but because he has heard us call French toast, Frenchy toasty so much because of our daughter, um, he called it Frenchy toasty, <laughs> like unironically, like he just called it Frenchy toasty because he thought, he thought that's what it was called. Uh, so I, I love that story because I am learning Spanish right now, and I'm sure I will make far more egregious mistakes as I continue to learn Spanish. <laughs> um, here is my my attempt at being artistic. I feel like the sunlight was was doing me some favors here, um, so I was going to do a close up of my my French toast concoction. I usually, I don't really measure. I don't know if you guys measure when you make French toast. I just put a bunch of eggs and a bunch of milk or cream. Oh, look at that. Close up on the fire, dip in the toast. I am, I'm using Vlogmas to like, you know, just really try out my artistic abilities here with vlogging. Um, it is, yeah, I'm trying to be a little more creative. So here you go. There's the Frenchie toasty. And yeah. Oh, but anyway, so yeah, I'm learning Spanish. Oh, and this is Amelia. This I love this sweatshirt. She did not want to sit still for me to show it to you, but I thought it was super cute. Um, but I'm learning Spanish. Guys, I am on a 33-day streak on Duolingo. I'm not sponsored by Duolingo or anything, but if you want to learn another language, I am finding it to be quite enjoyable. They kind of gamify it. So I don't want to lose my streak. So I get on there every single day and do a lesson, at least one. Uh, and I feel like it is really helping me like recognize more words because Ed and his family do speak Spanish a lot around me. And now they can't, um, they can't gossip about me anymore because I'm going to start understanding, especially if they want to talk about, you know, work or getting a taxi or ordering un sandwich at Un Cafe, um, you know, if they start talking about that, I'm going to know. I'm going to know all about it. Uh, and then that, this, what we're seeing here is I was just trying to take down this, like, cling thing for the turkey, the decorations. Oh, guys, wait, appreciate this. Oh, that was the transition I was going for. Mwah, beautiful. Chef's kiss. I'm so proud of that. I... Do me a favor, rewind and watch that again, because I am really proud of that. It's super easy to do, but I was like obsessed with that transition. Anyway, um, where was I? Oh yeah, I was trying to take down the turkey decoration and it stained those window clings, those cheap little window clings that you can get for decoration. Yeah, only put them on windows because they have stained our floor. Um, a pumpkin one accidentally got on it from Halloween, so it stained our hardwood floor. And now it stained uh, Amelia's toy climbing apparatus thing. So don't put window clings on anything other than a window. Lesson learned. Don't do it. And then, yeah, Amelia was a really, really good helper uh, with putting the tree up. She did an amazing job. I mean, Ed, Ed helped too, but mostly it was Amelia putting in the work. And... Yeah, this was really kind of it for this day. Like we got the tree, we put the tree up, we did not have time to decorate it. Um, so stay tuned for another day later this week that we will decorate. And that is, that's it. All right, guys, thanks for coming with us to the Christmas tree farm. I love you and I will see you hopefully tomorrow unless I don't have time to film anything and then uh, I'll see you the next day, but I will be back. So love you, goodbye. Mwah.